Update, I installed a monitoring software on my wife's mobile phone, then read messages that show she's cheating on me with her manager. What I did next took her by surprise. Firstly thank you everyone for your input. It helped me a lot, I have managed to get rid of most callers, there are only a few stragglers left still trying to pressure me. I met with Frank's wife, more on that further down. The two best responses turned out to be. 1. Why don't you ask her why we are not talking? This was very effective, Two. Follow up if number one didn't work, imagine the trauma Sue has inflicted on me for me to go no contact. You pressuring me is adding a lot to my stress. Will you pay for my psychotherapy if I have a total mental breakdown? No? Okay maybe you should stay out of this then. A-okay, click. Secondly I think I need to clarify a little. Many seem to think that I had full control and executed a flawless maneuver. The entire day, apart from the 10 minutes when I confronted her, I was a total mess. It took me two months of stealing myself and preparation to be able to pull off the 10 minute confrontation. I was hoping she would turn around at the door and come back down. She had dozens of chances to stop and come clean but she didn't. I guess I was hoping up until the last second that she had stopped, I would have been able to talk about reconciling up until the point where they got physical. It took everything I had not to break down in tears in the hotel, in fact I started crying before I reached the end of the hallway. Also I didn't do this as some kind of revenge, I did it to break free and regain a bit of my self-worth. Being cheated on was degrading, humiliating and emasculating. I am a shell of my former self. I do realize that this is because I loved her with all of my heart and it's why I decided to go NC. I don't think I am strong enough yet to face her without breaking down, and I will never ever again show any weakness in front of her or anyone that might convey that to her. Asking the questions to Frank surprising and confronting my wife was all about me. Not them. I took back control over my life, but I know I am too weak to hold on to that if I were to meet her today. So I will strengthen my resolve, steely myself. I will never again show her any kindness or consideration. For her I will be nothing but a rock hard, ice cold, emotionless, indifferent ex-husband. I will burn her and Frank's life to the ground once the divorce goes through. Until then I will work on bettering myself and getting on with my life. F them. They can do whatever they want I can't control their choices I can only control my own. Many have asked how I can be this cold and calculating, I think a few even called me crazy. I don't see it like that. Let me be clear I don't enjoy this at all. I see it as absolutely necessary actions for my own well-being and sanity. Life is change, my marriage in this case developed gangrene so I am cutting it off before it affects more of my body and causes permanent damage. I have also decided to not flirt or do anything on Tinder. It was a nice ego boost but I am in a vulnerable state. And I might cause someone else pain since I am not really in control of my emotions at this point. It would be selfish of me to expose anyone else to potential pain just to stroke my own ego. I met with Frank's wife yesterday, we talked for hours at the coffee shop we met. She was devastated, she called Frank and confronted him with me next to her on screen. He begged pleaded all the usual stuff. She had been preparing for this as we talked but still she broke down and just hung up on him in the end. She ended up spending the night in my new apartment in the spare room. She just couldn't go home and face him. We talked all night and it was cathartic to be able to vent my anger with someone that understood what this betrayal feels like. I heard her crying herself to sleep last night it was heartbreaking. I wanted to go and hug her but I didn't want to make it weird or make her uncomfortable. I will ask her today if I can do anything to help. I have told her she can stay as long as she wants, nobody knows about the apartment besides me. It's small and doesn't have a lot of furniture, but it has plenty of food and all the amenities you would need. She is trying to get her head on straight before facing Frank. Frank has been blowing up her phone with messages and apologies. When I left for work this morning she still haven't responded to any of them. The only person I have talked to beyond message 1 and 2 is my wife's mother. I like her. She is very nice and she has always made me feel welcomed and cared for. She told me that my wife would be committed to a mental facility due to talking about terminal self-harm. She has been in a bad way apparently since the hotel. I told her that she is no longer my responsibility, she made these choices she will need to deal with the consequences. 
I would appreciate it if she didn't update me on my wife since it was already painful enough and that I needed distance to properly separate myself from her. I informed her that there is zero absolutely zero percent chance of reconciliation. The divorce will go through we will not communicate at all outside of issues related to our children. And that will all be done in writing. I have enough just dealing with myself at the moment. So I am not as strong as many seem to think, I managed to pull myself together just enough to cut the cord after two months of intense effort. And I would probably devolve into a sobbing mess if I met her today. I need time to heal and everyone calling prevented that. So thank you again Reddit for helping me fend off the well-meaning people that were injecting themselves into my relationship on my wife's behalf. You guys are awesome. You got this, I know it's difficult but just make sure you are eating healthy, getting sleep and exercise. Thank you solid advice. Her threatening to delete herself is just manipulation. If she felt so strongly about your marriage, she wouldn't have cheated and withheld intimacy from her own husband. Stay strong, do not cave in. Like you said her life is not your responsibility. I was thinking this might be the case as well. Read through some of the backstories here and you will see threatening self-harm is a somewhat common occurrence. I am guessing somewhere around 10%, regardless if this is an attempt at emotional manipulation or real, you handled it perfectly OP. What she does stopped being your problem the moment she entered the hotel room. It's okay to dissolve into an emotional puddle every once in a while. We've all been exactly where you are right now and things will get better with time. You are handling this in the best way possible OP probably a good thing in your favor though with regards to custody of the kids. Yeah like, you said you asked her so so many times? That in itself would have made me spill. She was overconfident and thought she can have it all. She didn't care for her husband at all. She really crossed the line when she started withholding intimacy from her own husband to stay loyal to her AP. It just proves that she was trying to create issues in her marriage so that she can get more excuses to cheat. Introducing Newscaster Vocalizer is a new first of its kind, groundbreaking app, which allows you to generate full featured voiceovers from any text using direct access to Amazon powered Newscaster Vocalizer without spending thousands of dollars. Just select a language and voice, paste your text, click a button, and it's done. Keep going. I have a buddy that did a precise, decisive surgical strike like you did. His wife was cheating with his best friend, he found out, and immediately it was over. He left that day after telling the kids and families and got a lawyer. By the end of that week he'd listed the house, got his own place, got her to agree to a fair settlement, she was still in the affair fog and thought she was going to marry the best friend, who was also married and cheating. And after he got her to sign off on the separation agreement, he walked up to some hot girl in the bar, and said how would you like a free trip to Hawaii for a week as my companion? No says or anything needed. I just need to get away and don't want to do it alone. She said yes. Rocks of steel, this guy. So the week after that, he was in Hawaii with some girl. And he did it because he knew his soon-to-be ex-wife's world was about to come down. There was no way his former best friend was going to leave his wife, and he knew it. So his former friend went crawling back to his wife. And his soon-to-be ex was stuck at home for a week, explaining things to the kids and their families, with their house listed and being shown, trying to sort out her new single life. And he was in Hawaii with another woman, away from it all. When he came back, the legal dust had mostly settled. She couldn't fight it, she had already signed the separation agreement. All she could do was whine to everyone about how unfair it all was that their marriage was just over, and he wouldn't even try to reconcile. Everyone just laughed at her of course. Ran into her a couple of years later. She looked 10 years older. She apologized for everything. She had also come on to me, and said that her life was a lot harder now but she deserved it. She was in a terrible little condo her kids hated to be at, nobody good would date her, and she just lived in shame. Ran into him at a similar time at a pub. He was laughing with buddies, happy, had started a new business and was making a fortune. Bought a big ranch outside of town with horses for his kids. And was living with an awesome, beautiful, smart woman. He was super happy. I think often about that guy, and how I could have reacted differently when I divorced. Wow that is brutal. I will stay my course there is no way back ever. 
NC is a smart move, do it like you stated at least until you are strong enough to face her without breaking down. What has worked for me and it may work for you is boxing. May sound odd but beating the crap out of a bag is a hell of a lot better than staying indoors watching TV or having a bottle call out your name. It can even help with your physical fitness. I used to box I will get back to that. I need to vent a bit. Good on you OP also you might want to figure out the best way to handle the kids soon. I'm sure they'll need some therapy because of the divorce, and you might want to join them, just to get the tools to deal with what you're feeling. All the best. Yes I have booked the IC. Later on after the divorce is final I will probably line up FC to make sure we are functional co-parents. Which means, at some point, you will need to resume some form of dialogue with your STBX. So be ready for it. I am preparing myself for it. I need to get some more mental distance so I can think clearly. Look into the grey rock method to deal with your ex. Commonly used as a tactic for dealing narcissists or other high conflict personalities. I will read that. Thanks for the update. Wow your life has been turned upside down. From the outside at least, you have been taking some positive steps for yourself which is really important. You seem like a very logical and possibly analytical thinking person. It is important if you do have these types of traits that you start building more tasks for yourself that you can follow so you don't end up losing your way. It also will feel like achievements if you're able to scribe off each task that you're able to complete. Think about all the things you need to be covering off for your kids and all the necessary and self-improvement tasks you can do for yourself. Spend as much time with family and friends to fill the void as well that once was replaced by your wife. It was a wise move to remove dating apps. This won't help you at this time but I do understand I need to feel one at all the same. This is a great advice. Good luck for your life ahead. This is not the end of the world. Even I have been through a bitter divorce and escaped a lying cheating and offensive husband. You have collected yourself well and your response was very mature and effective. Your next focus is your life ahead and the kids. Yes this is my focus now. I will be okay. Worldwide comments of the day. This is what I like to see at least, strong minded man doing the right thing, hope things get better for him. Moral of the story, she'll drop you in a heartbeat, no loyalty or honor. Sorry state of affairs. That was amazing, perfect way to start the day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more interesting and relatable Reddit videos.